Hi everyone, it's Dash of Dave here again and I'm back for another crafty video. So, this time we're going to do some slides. Okay, I've already cut my slides out, but we're going to make some like this. These have been cut out using this die. This is from AliExpress, but I know that Sam Paul does a die very similar. Um, but, you know, I'm being honest, mine was from AliExpress. So, um, I've already cut them out, various things, and this is what we're going to do. So, these are a couple that I've started making off camera. Um, and this one is dedicated to my auntie, Auntie Mary, who is pictured here, who we unfortunately lost at the weekend. Uh, she passed away on Saturday, and I'm I'm sorry. I'm feeling a bit emotional. She, uh, this is my mum here. This is my dad. My dad out of the here now. It's only my mum that's still alive. My mum's ninety. Uh, Auntie Mary was 94 and um, I just wanted to, I don't know, wanted to commemorate them. So uh, there's another photo here that I might use and like, I don't know. So um, so my next videos for the next week or so are going to be dedicated to Auntie Mary because I loved her so much and I'm sad that she is gone. Um, although, you know, she had a good innings. Um, she kind of brought me up as a uh, as a child because when my parents were at work, Auntie Mary looked after me. So, um, so yeah, so really, she's really important to me. So anyway, let's let's carry on. So I'm sorry if I'm not my normal chipper self, um, if, and if I have a weepy moment, then I'm sure you'll forgive me. So I'm going to just pull some randoms out. I don't want to do another green one. I've, I've I've gone mad with that green paper. I think of of late. So, I've got some things already pulled out that I thought I might use. I'm just trying to use up basically random bits that are on my desk that I can I can use up. So I think this was a I think this is packaging off something, um, or I've I've used it to paint with or something like that. Um, but anyway, I, I'm going to use that as the the film that goes over there. Okay, so that's that's the first bit. I know what I'm doing with that. So. Let's stick that down. In fact, actually, I think what I'm going to do is stab myself with that. Um, I'm going to uh, use some red liner tape, I think. So this is a uh, high high tack tape. I don't know. If, I don't know whether it's called red liner tape everywhere around the world. So I'll call it. I'll call it red liner tape until such point somebody says, "Well, that's actually called X, Y, or Z." wherever you're from so the reason I'm going to use this is it for when you're using acetate it just grips things better because it's not a wet glue it just grips so I'm going to use this so, so yeah uh, sad news at the weekend like I say Auntie Mary was very poignant in my life um, very lovely lady uh, she was just one of those people that just always had people at her house so we used to go used to go shopping she used to live near the local shops when you used to go shop locally um so when every time you called into her house there was always people there and if you if there weren't people there they were on their way you were the first to arrive um and it's just it was just a a lovely and you know life that she had She'd been, she'd been a nurse, and she'd, uh, she'd worked with my mum on the wool stall, and it was it's my mum's sister, uh, so Auntie Mary. Um, like I say, she was ninety four. Um, but my mum, um, she was uh, my she was my mum's best friend, not just sister, but best friend. I'd love to have a, um, I'd love to have family like that near my family don't aren't like that so um the only problem with red liner tape is it gets stuck everywhere um so yes um, like my mom said yesterday which kind of nearly broke me um as much as we're upset my mom nobody's more upset than my mom because she's known her for 90 years um and they spoke every day every day of their life they spoke to each other how lovely is that 
so um so yes so I, i'm fine i'm feeling a bit distracted i'm i'm really sorry so um so i will just make and we'll chat and things so i did say i think i said in my in my post um i did put a post on youtube which i don't really know how posts on youtube really work so don't don't ask me how that works because i'm not really sure um but yeah i did put a post on youtube to say you know this is the situation and i'm sorry if i'm not quite with it now i was going to be recording things yesterday which was sunday but i just couldn't face it yesterday i was so i was still a bit upset and a bit teary and weepy and and i wouldn't have been on my best form so i usually record all my weeks worth of videos on what i'm trying to do is get that to stick down cute stay in place uh yeah i usually record all my videos for the week on a sunday but i just didn't feel up to it yesterday so um i'm just placing i don't really know what i want i kind of, i guess i'm kind of thinking it'll come to me so i'll have a moment where i'll be <gasps> that looks really good with that i really like that or you know or it won't so you know too big maybe that quite like that quite like that yeah I'm gonna do that so um, so I'm hoping to be able to mass make um, I'm gonna cut the bottom of this off because you don't, you don't want to see this I'm just gonna put it so that you can see it through the window like that. Yep, perfect in the right place Ooh. Don't press down too hard, Dave, because you just realised that I put red liner tape on. Oh, there you go. That's, that's, it's all it's all gone different. It's all gone different, not gone wrong. So a dash of difference. So I think I might put some red, Janet, red, Janet, red, Janet. Sorry about that. Um, so. <laughs> I went off I, my brain has been all over the place since the news I went off looking for this and it was there <laughs> well, we know what we need to do with them don't we let's put them out anyway so I'm going to go for these hopefully they don't go through the holes they don't luckily Problem when you've got fat fingers is you can't actually see what you're doing. Yep, that's fine. I mean, like they're not holding anything secure or anything, so they're fine as they are. That one, and then we're doing this last one. I think what I might do is just so they don't move around too much. I'm just going to put that put a bit of glue on those bits there. And glue them together. That's not going to go right, is it, today? Not today, please. Bit more there. 
way too much on there, Dave. Can I squeeze that out over that edge? Never mind. Close that up. Stick it down. Fit and stick nicely. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to ink that. So. so I've been going for 12 minutes, but for you guys, for you guys, it won't be because I'll have sped some up and edited some out a fix here. So like I've got access to the computer, so I can do such things. But looking for stuff and then sorting my act out. Trying to sort out those um, brads was painful. So I'll move that out of the way. So let's go. Let's get. Wipe that up, otherwise, I'll stick my sleeve in it. So we'll do that, and then I think we might have a. Might have a word on here. Um, maybe with another. Maybe like that with a word over the top. Um, oh, blimey. Goodness no, only knows you've got this. Let's just go for you've got this. Put that on there. I think I might have that there. I've got this. Fine. Cool. We've got a colour theme going on here anyway, because this is a similar colour to the flowers that are in there. I'm going to put a bit of glue on there because it's it can hold it down better than the glue that's on the back of them. I'm going to slip that round that brad. He says, trying to slip it around the brad. There you go. Cool. Fab. There you go. There's one. That's another one to go with the pile. Um, this this is made out of an old uh, thingy sleeve, LP sleeve. So I thought I might use some of this. Don't know whether it's going to stand out on here. Oh, it does. I might use something dark in the background. Oh, um, these bits, where are they? Here. These are the bits that cut out of the... So when I, when I punched these, when I stamped these, I stamped... Yeah, you know, when I made these... You're on your own with what that's called. Um, when I... I'm good and ready. Um die cut these this is what was this was what would what remained so I'm going to pop because I know it fits in that window I'm going to pop that there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this over the top of that and you'll be able to see it better but which bit shall I use might use the bit right there so I'll try and use it all if I cut it off I'll try and use it so yeah that's it's good as well because it's the right width and this is sticky washi tape. So the back comes off this. You know when you're trying to mask make in half an hour and then everything just stalls on you. There we go. I've just torn that bit off, which is good because I've just thought I could use that. bit and we might have something else I don't know should we have a thing over the top no let's leave that like that and then we're gonna have a I don't know something on the outside maybe not like these don't like you know I don't, I'm not keen on the shiny 
No, I'm not, I've just don't like it. You know, sometimes I'm all right with it. Sometimes I'm fine with it, like the shiny, and then other times it's like, nope, don't want, don't want the shiny. Get your shiny away from here. Get your shiny away. Let's go for something like that, maybe. Yeah, and we're gonna have a word, maybe daydreaming. Came to me straight away. I don't want it on that. I thought maybe, or will it be too much? There was a piece of off hook. There we go. If I put that on there, is that too much? Do you know what? I don't mind. Do you know what? I don't care. Do you know what? I'm doing it. I'm just going to tear this down though. Again, this is one that I, from one I cut out. When I, was, when I was die cutting at some of the the bit that was left, so we might do that. Yep, I'm going, definitely going to do that. Put that there. Stick that on there, like so. I'm going to put that on the top. How's that there? Just like that, in fact. Just glue it down. Not overthinking this. If we can get, we can be a bit too. Now I know this is a hashtag. I think it's a Roxy's hashtag. I believe it might be a collab hashtag, but I will hashtag it correctly. Um. But yeah, it was one that. Brian said it might be a good idea for me to make something like this because then I don't really have to concentrate because my brain's not not working terribly. So I've got a few ideas in the pipeline, some of my wacky and weird ideas that I do. But the wacky weird and the the building-y stuff will have to wait for the time being. So the stuff I'd planned for this week isn't what we're doing this week. You know, just out of respect and normal programming will resume, but at the moment it's important that I focus on me for a bit as well. So just leave that on there for a minute. Um, get rid of the bits, Dave. We might need to just move on to another one. So that was just a book page layered over some craft card. Some more of the, um, you can tell what these are, file folders. Another one of those. Well, that's the other way around though this time. Maybe that is our next project. Is that stuck? Is it stuck enough? It's fine. Yep, let's move on to this in a minute. Put some ink round here. I guess I should have done round that, but wasn't thinking. end of the world though is it so and I guess it could do with some kind of a brad or something in the corners but you know what I'm, I don't think I'm going to bother with that one well, it's going to be one without so um, then what am I doing with that this one let's make this do something with this so it's quite dark on the outside what have we got here Go with something like this, maybe. What else is there? Is that the Does that go better? That's the other way around. I'm going to offcut and see how whether it's a similar sort of size. Oh, it is. Quite similar. Similar. In there, I might need a colour on the back to lift it, so I might actually stick it to something. You know what? I might. In I don't. I don't know whether you'll see it, but I was thinking if you, if I inked round it, it might look a bit like, what's that called? You know, it's dark around the edge of a photo. Yeah, that. 
It's not ombre, is it? No, that's, that's when the colour changes. It's got more than one. Th yeah, more than one thing sticking in here. You know, in a photo editing software that you can get, you can have this kind of like. So it focuses the eye into the middle. So I'm actually thinking, I don't know. I don't even know whether it, it'll look any different really. Oh, it does. It's fine. So I'm just going to glue this. And this should dry clear so you won't see it anyway. If we put that there, and we know where it needs to be, we might just put a blob of. Oh no, let's let's do it this way first. Problem with using this vellumy stuff is it wrinkles. So I'm hoping the wrinkles will drop out. Oh well, if it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter, does it? It's all, all part of the character and charm of the thing. Okay, so on the front of here, we want some kind of a plant or something. Now, do I care that that's not cut out? Maybe care a little bit. Sorry, I've got my phone on because I'm doing a timer, but I can't really cut around all of those green things, so we're just going to cut this da flower down a bit more. It's going to be the worst cutting out ever. But I don't need all of this white on it and I'm not getting around those fronds or whatever they are the green wispy bits I know the I know the things at the bottom are called stems I'm not talking about the stems so, I thought I was going to be talking about Auntie Mary in this video but I'm I found that I was feeling a bit choked when I was talking about her a few minutes ago, so I don't think now is the time. I think I need to process first. It's still quite new and raw, and but I knew that if I didn't do stuff, somebody would be saying something. So I'm here for you guys. I've been at work today, that was difficult as well, so put that like that and then we'll have maybe that wooden bit there, or maybe this wooden bit, especially if I can round it off, maybe I'll round the corners and it's off, if I can get that in there without it falling in. Falling in to you. So Vic's here. He's going to be making till. That's a lot rounder than that. Oh well, it's not the end of the world, is it, Dave? Brain's not sure what to do now. Brain's like, oh, I don't know now. I don't really like it. Or all completely different. Let's just have completely different corners on each one. Yeah, let's do that, Dave. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that one so it's a bit more like that. That's fine. Ah, it's, ah, it's fine. So we'll have a word or something on here. it is but I also think it could do with something to behind it to lift it a 
platform shoe, maybe. Yeah. So these, this is a bundle of little stamps that I have. A bundle of bundles, I suppose. I don't know why I bothered worrying about the that end because I can't see it anyway. So take that off. Right, ink this, Dave. Now, while you've got the chance. So you can't tell that it's a piece of cardboard. It looks like a piece of wood that way. I'm going to put that on the end of there, like that. Put that over the top of. Uh, yeah, that'll do like that, and then we'll put some, uh, some, gl oh, some glue on there. Brill, fab, brill, marvelous. Yeah, thank you to everybody that has said something about my auntie that saw my post and reacted to it. I really am grateful for everybody's support. Uh, you've all been very kind. And I'm very grateful to you. I don't know when the funeral's going to be. You know, obviously these things take time to sort out and arrange. Oh, Dave, don't do that. Um, and because I'm not because I'm not don't live nearby I live you know I, I know it's to me it's a, it's miles away but to you guys that live like hundreds of miles away from family it's nothing so I live 120 miles away from my family so they live in Coventry and I live up north um but it might as well be a million miles away when things like this happen I spoke to my mum yesterday and she was just saying that she felt she had mixed feelings because she knew that you know Auntie Mary didn't want to be hanging around, and she, um, my auntie was ready to go. Um, and so my mum's been sat with her for the last few weeks, just holding her hand. Um, but it's mixed feelings, isn't it? Because you you, you can be a bit um, selfish. You want them to stay. You know, if you're ready to go, you're ready to go. So, all for not prolonging stuff like that. Let's pick another one. So this one is made out of just a piece of paper that I've covered over with a napkin. So it's a decoupage napkin thing. So let's make this. I like making them out of ones that you don't like classically associate with being. I'm going to put a window on this one. Um, a slide. Uh, maybe now is the time. Maybe now is the time to use one of the shiny pieces because if I'm using a piece of shiny plastic, you're not going to see it anyway. Except for you know what, I can't find them now. Oh well, let's maybe use. Oh, not. Let's use one of these. That's pretty. Oh, that kind of goes. Oh, I, you know what? I might do it like that. So. I know it's a bit daft, but I like it like that. I'm going to do it like that, you know. I know it's going to make it difficult for, from an acetate point of view. You know, I don't care. I not, might not put, use the acetate. Right, let's ink around the edges. Um, because it's made of paper rather than cardboard, it's a bit more flimsy. But it's fine. I think I'm going to go like that and have it like that. I like that. And that's the way it is. It's like that. And that's the way it is. <gasps> it's a song. I don't, I don't actually know the, all of the lyrics. So quote me not. I'm 
think it's from the 80s. What isn't? <laughs> or who isn't? Right, pop that down like that, that like that. Oh, yep. Yeah. We like. We like that. I might just go over that with a bit of. And add a bit of dimension to it. Doesn't have to be the same, does it? We can do different things, can't we? Right, that. And then what should we do? Put something on the bottom, maybe. A word. Our house. Cast of characters. Maybe cast of characters. Oh, I'm sticking the scissors to it for. Now some people will be saying, "What? Well, it doesn't fit. I don't understand the, what the cast of characters, cast of what characters. It doesn't matter. They're words. They can be. They can be formulated in however you like." Well, they would be if you could peel, peel them off the desk, Dave. Now, did I not actually glue it down? Oh, that might be out, Dave. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh well. I still I noticed it without it being too late, so So you can tell I'm not with it, can't you? Really, I've been like this at work, like having moments where I'm just not quite with it. So, characters of cast, no eh? cast of characters, Dave. Always go for it the right way around. So it makes a bit sense. As much as it doesn't make any sense, it makes more sense. that way around. Cast of characters rather than characters of cast. Oh, oh no, characters cast off. Oh, characters cast off. That, that would be cast off. Oh, shut up, Dave. Over-processing. Okay. This one's a from, made from a file folder. It's a faded file folder. Try saying that three times fast. A faded file folder. Maybe time for. Oh, you know what else I could do? I could get. Let's put somebody else in it. Get me printer out, me mini printer. We'll make one to go in there. I'm just going to get my phone out. Okay, so I've selected my photo. So just make sure this is still on. Now I'm going to go to print. Print. Should then start to print. Well, it will have to find the machine first, so we'll put that. And I'll print that one. Oh, it's doing it. Which end does it come out of? The, that end. The right way up? No, that's the right way up. Okay, so we're going to print. We're printing something. So yeah, when you're making these these dies, obviously, like I say, sample does one, um, and but you can get them on AliExpress. Entirely up to you what you use. I'm not here to advise. Apparently, it's samples design. Although I'm, I am led to believe that the samples design is dif different. So. don't have it so I don't know um, 
know, she got in touch with a few people and said, you know, it's actually her image, and I, I don't know, she didn't have got in touch with me, so I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs, so and I, I bought it legitimately from AliExpress. I'd never seen it before, so. Okay, so this comes out of here. So this is a, a little photo I thought might be nice in here. I love this thing because it's not it's not wet ink. So it's yeah, let's put them in there. So this peel this bit peels off the back. So it's a sticker. I'm just gonna line that bit up first. So that they're kind of in the frame. A handsome couple. Pop that down. Perfect. Yep. Oh, I like that. I do like that very muchly. Muchly, I like that. I like it muchly. Right. Fuck, where is that? So, where did I put this one? Maybe. No, I don't like that. Maybe that. Well, that goes quite nicely, doesn't it? So maybe just cut that down the middle. Or thereabouts. That's not the middle bone. Yeah, like that. I'm just going to round these edges. I now know that you can't do it with the, the corner rounder. It won't do that smaller corner, so I shall do it myself. That way then there is nobody else to blame but me. Yep, I'll pop that in there, on there. 24. Do you think they're 24? Um, maybe something. Curiosity, passion, strength, inspiration, daydreaming. Does that, does that fit on there? It does. So I'll do a favourite photo on there, I'm going to ink around the edge of that. Put that on there. Just might just trim this down a little. Right, so I'm not going to bother trying to round the corners, I'm going to snip them off like that. So we're going to Snip that down there. Snip them off. Snip them off. And snip them off. That's a technical term, snip them off. Oh, yeah, much better. I prefer it that size. That's better. So annoying when it doesn't come out. You only need, need to leave the lid off it for two seconds and the damn thing dries up again. Put that on there. Make some glue around here. Get those edges in. Yeah, I've been at work today. Um, it's Monday the 6th of March. Um, finished early today so that I can go and get my, my uh, driver's license photo ID needs renewing by the end of the month. So I have to go and get that sorted out. So there we go, another one. Let's make let's make this one, this one. Yeah, let's make this one and this one, and then we'll call it quits. Yeah. Okay. So on this one, I'm gonna put a window in it. Oh, I put a 
a handle on a door today because I'm, I'm not I'm not technically the handyman but if I don't do it nobody else will um that didn't go very well did it no. Leave that for a minute. Um, yeah, so I handle on the door and took my drill with me to work to be able to do that. So I did try to do it without without pilot drilling the holes, but it wasn't. It's a hardwood fire door, and it was just impossible to get a drill through it. So a screw through it. So I had to drill it. I know that I've, I've got finger, dirty fingers and it's made this like not dirty marks on the red tape but you're not going to see it it's kind of in on the inside so dirty fingers is from gluing and inking etc on okay then do it this side yep so you work that side uh, where did that piece go this piece that I took off that so I might will that go on there no it's not quite big enough to get off me so I had another piece on there somewhere what's that that's not big enough, is it? Don't go on there. Don't know what that says. Oh, I know what I could use. I could use some of that, couldn't I? Maybe use some of that, Dave. I remember when I, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to emboss on plastic. Well, this is one of those said items that have been embossed on. Boss emboss and overed on. I'll cut that bit off as well as it stick out over the edge. And of course it'll bend the, the thing because it's plastic's got a bit of a warp to it, but I'm not worried about that. And then we can put. We could put. No, maybe put that. Is that too much? Can't really see it behind the thing, so doesn't really matter if you can't really see it. I guess not. I might put a. a so these were ones that. Um, Leslie from Silver Moon Creations, sorry brain again, not working, um, where's Horizon, um, sent me, that was a long winded way to get Two words out, no. Actually, I might use one of the washi stickers over this, and you might be able to see it. Got more chance of seeing it anyway, rather than that flower. Let's try a washi sticker, which I think are at the bottom. Yeah, 
let's go for that. Have that just over the edge of that. Yep, and we're going to cut that bit off. Cool, fixed downstairs. He's here today. He's making my favourite soup. He's making me cabbage soup, which I know people will think, well, cabbage soup, really? That's your favourite? It is indeed my favourite soup. It's a Hungarian cabbage soup and it's delicious. And don't knock it till you've tried it. So it has Frankfurters in it as well. So, you know, you can't go wrong, can you? Hot dog sausages and cabbage. Mm. It's very tasty. I mean, like you, uh, you know, like I say, you wouldn't think it from it being cabbage soup, but it's very tasty, and I love it very much. And he's making it for me, so because he's good like that. grab that because it's this is a napkin as well that made overlaid and I it it'll peel the napkin off if I've got sticky fingers if I press it down with my fingers so but luckily the fingers aren't sticky okay and we're gonna ink that all the way around nice and finished on that and I don't know whether it what needs a thing on a word or anything charming maybe just charming maybe just charming on a background of some kind maybe a piece of cardboard this is coffee dyed cardboard. Oh, you know what? I'll stick, take that off. Do you know what? Do you know what? I mean, well, you might not know what, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So I'm going to give it a rip. That's what I'm going to do. That's what it needs. It needs to be a bit more organic. charming yep it is charming i like it i'm going to keep it and i will just give it a bit of a rub across there to make it a bit green yep even better no point no need to um coffee dye the uh, ink the edges because they're coffee dyed anyway so that one's done and the last one and then we can call it a a slide a day sorry so maybe another one of these bits on a oh well, i tell you what we'll get one of these out as well Do I have? Yes, I do. We cut this out. This is M. but I've got it on oh do I have it on here no we don't have it on here so we'll just have M for Mary in here in fact maybe do we have all the letters for Mary A R no why would we Mare no we'll just have Mare M sorry not Mare that down there. I think I'm going to cut it out properly though. Oh, I 
bows. Okay. So I'm gonna sort of these are out because I've been fussy cutting, so not because I've neglected them or anything like that. I don't want any anybody calling the Tim Holtz hotline telling them I've telling him I've neglected his scissors. Okay. Can't afford to ne neglect anything of Tim Holtz. Can you? Yeah. I uh, was watching his launch on Saturday, was it, or Sunday? I can't remember. Um, and sorry, I've just noticed my drinks over here. I need a drink. So yes, I was just watching his launch of his new products on Saturday or Sunday, whenever it was. And I'm, I have to say I'm disappointed because I think it's about time the craft world woke up and smalt, 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 smalt the coffee. You can smalt it, but I think you might need to smell it first. Um, about time that the craft world stopped putting things in plastic packaging so all of his ideology stuff and I said this in the chat and I did say I quote because I took a screenshot of this chat because I knew that nobody would actually listen to me because little old me why would you listen to me um, I actually said so my words were um, I re I'd really love to see Ranger stroke Tim Holtz move away from using plastic packaging um, sorry, plastic packaging, full stop be the change you want to see in the world and then I put, not that anyone will see or acknowledge this but I had to say it because I do think we need to stop putting, so all of those little ideology gems and charms and things are all packed in massive amounts of plastic, the tiny little things Need to, you need to find another way to do it because you know I don't want to be you know I don't want to be I don't want it to be in a you know, hundred years time or if it hadn't been for those crafters you know the place the planet wouldn't be quite so polluted I'm going to use a bit of that I think I think I'm also going to stamp a bit as well maybe is this going to be no I'm not going to use that then let's use I'm going to stamp. Give it a fighting chance, put it the right way up, Dave. Just going to do lightly and then a bit heavier there. Yep, cool, perfect. And we're going to put that up there. And we're going to have this was just one of those same prints, but I've embossed it, put it through an embossing folder. So I might put that in there, maybe. Could maybe put that in a frame of its own, wherever. Ow. Open scissors, not a good idea, Dave. Not with you around, not a good idea. Maybe they need their own frame. Yep, I might just cut the middle of this out, so. Get a ruler. Get a little ruler. And I'll do that. is not going to be perfect or accurate or any kind of tutorial it's just me cutting paper cardboard whatever whatever it is might be wonky it might be perfect who knows what what matters is I've done it and I like it
this is the problem when I do a mass make is I overthink everything and I have to it has to be all perfect corner there all that come out now perfect that can sit round there oh that's fine I know it cuts off Uncle David's head but like didn't really like him anyway so it's alright him and my auntie and my other auntie divorced anyway so it's my other auntie that I've just chopped her head off the top of her head off anyway so yeah we're gonna put that there in fact I'm gonna stick it down with this because it's more like to stick with this because it sticks to a shiny surface so and these photos are shiny I want to know if they do matte actually it's one of the things I'd like it to do is a matte finish overhang the thing too much Let's see if we can take the back off without peeling it off the frame yep I can so that's going to sit inside there oh I like that that is <laughs> dare I say, my, say so myself it's good That'd be good, I like it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this around that frame. It's not really gonna go across the photo because the photo's shiny and any bits to have. Just give it a wiggle and it's gone. There you go, that kind of blends with the frame nicely now. And then, talk about saving the best till last, Dave. I'm just gonna ink around these edges. definitely get that white bit there just because that is too white you can see that through that hole yep yeah, we're gonna stick that down uh, oh actually should we put some let's put some of these on it Dave let's do that make it extra special extra special read all about it extra extra out of the way then with another one of them down to that that way and that that way that way then they don't they sit round the frame nicer oh I think oh, there was one there Where's the other one? Or did I only get three out? Who knows? Because let's find another one. Yep, oh, that didn't take me five hours this time. I know these challenges. I will hashtag it correctly. I can't remember. But most people do them in real time, but you know. It's, oh, it's usually a timed thing that they do in real time, isn't it? I'm going to forgive myself for for just not being quite compass mentis th this, at this moment in time. So. I'm going to stick those down. I'm not worrying about those spinning round now because I've figured a way to do that so they grip the paper better and they're less likely to spin now that I've splayed them in a different way close that up get rid of that extra glue on that bit oh I really love that 
dedicated to Auntie Mary. So we'll put this on here. I think we need something behind it to lift it, maybe. Not that. Piece of something. Maybe this. That's not long enough. No. Maybe this. Not this. Maybe, maybe this. Maybe a bit of that. Yep, we'll stick that on there and then we'll tear around it. Oh. Wants to go that way, I don't quite know why it wants to be to go over there, but it's here now. So I'm just going to tear around it now. Doesn't need a huge border, it just needs something to make it stand out a bit more. I don't want to cover my dad up. That's the only thing. Maybe we need to. Let's go capital M, rip it that off. Let's go capital M and then let's do get the little st stapler out. And staple it on and then just lift this up a bit and just put a bit of glue down the back so it doesn't go AWOL. That way it's not covering me dad up. And have snapshot. No, oh, hang on. Snapshot. What shall we have? Let's do show me your smile. Something that Auntie Mary definitely had was a good smile. Happy people tend to have good smiles though, don't they? Show me. It's going to cut that bit off. It's too long anyway. Your smile. There we go. And that's the last one. So, let's just clear this up a little bit. I will use these other ones, these other um, frames, don't worry. But rather than prolong the whole affair, I will let you go. You've got other things to do besides hang around with me. Anyway, people will talk, you hang around with me too long. Um, so pop, I'm going to pop those over there, that over there. Lose that. Move those over there. Put those back in that thing there, otherwise you'll lose them. Move that over there. We'll have a look at what we've done. Right, so. That's that flower I was looking for. So we've got some slides. So we've, these are what we've made today. We've done quite a few, actually. So we made... We made seven or was that nine altogether so there we go that's it so i hope you will give that a go and go and make some slides and things and if you don't have the equipment to make the slides then watch one of my other videos tells you how to make slides without making using slides um and um i will be back for the next video very soon um thank you all for spending some time with me again apologies for the changing service um, and I will be back to full form very soon um, but I'm sure you you understand so thank you so much for being with me spending some time with me and I'll see you all in the next video remember I love you all without exception <sighs> until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and I get all the love in my heart from all of the people that have loved me dearly and that includes Auntie Mary and I hope she rests in peace and 
she's with all the people that she has uh, has lost in her life and um thank you all remember to tell everybody that you love that you love them because you don't know when you don't get you won't get another chance all right folks i love you all and i mean that take care folks bye bye